And also, Amaterasu. Heck yeah, Amaterasu. Yo, I love Okami so much. Okami, so good, so good. I replayed that game like two or three times. It's just that good. I even played Okami, o Okami Den. That's a DS game for Okami and it's, it's like a sequel. But I played it. Uh, it was in Japanese though. So <laughs> it is kind of an embarrassing story. But I... Whatever. <laughs> uh, when I was playing Okami Den, you play as this little character named Chibi Terasu. I didn't understand what was going on in the game. I think I got it from a used game store or something, and I was playing it. And as I was... as I was playing it, I had no idea. There was a sad scene there, and... I was making up the story as I went, <laughs> and I cried <laughs> at my own story. <laughs> I, I brute forced it. It was, it was kind of cool. You, you don't really need stories for that because they have arrows, but in that dramatic scene, I was making up the story. Like, let's say someone was dying, and the dying character would, you know, have this conversation. They would say, oh, you were the, the best the best thing I've ever known. My life amounted to nothing, but ever since I met you, it had meaning. And I, I cried. <laughs> I cried from the fake scenario. I have no idea what went on in that story. I still don't, but <laughs> was pretty sad. <laughs> Cause you know the 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 character sacrifice themselves it was an emotional scene i don't know why they sacrificed themselves but it happened and it was <laughs> uh